Hi humans! So today I am here to show you how to do pretty much my five minute face in the morning um, and I will be disguising it as a tutorial for Celeste Wright from Big Little Lies. Hi. So she came to my rescue when I was trying to save young lives. Obviously, as you guys know, all of the uh, tutorials that I've been doing this month are for women who have inspired me in some way, influenced my life in some way, and helped me either um, make big decisions or come to terms with something about my life. And one of the women who has influenced my life almost to the level that my mother has <laughs> is um, actually Celeste from Big Little Lies. And there are so many reasons for this, and I'm not going to get too real with you guys today because I want you guys to keep watching my videos and I feel like if I get into details about things then you probably will not watch them anymore. The book Big Little Lies kind of came into my life at a time when I was trying to figure out what love is supposed to feel like. Um, I was in one of my first uh, very serious relationships and it was kind of a struggle for me because I wasn't really sure what I was supposed to be comparing this relationship to. Uh, so it kind of, I mean, it's Celeste. You guys can kind of figure out how it went. Um, but I just, the way that she internalized everything and then the way that she spoke out about it was really very inspirational for me. And I just took a lot from that. I, I don't know. Uh, the book, it just, it, it's, it, it just did so much for me. I read it four times in one year, what can I say? And then when the show came out and I found out that Nicole Kidman was gonna be playing Celeste, I mean, you guys already know how I feel about Nicole Kidman. Um, yeah, it's actually no. kind of annoying that you look like that and you're smart and educated and intelligent and sympathetic. I just, I really, really, really love her a lot. Um, and so to see her channeling a character that has done so much for me personally and who stands for so much of the stuff that I generally um, am an advocate for. I mean, you guys know me. I'm one of those, I'm one of those liberal social justice warriors. Sorry. Um, and uh, so to see Nicole Kidman channeling a character like that and then using the platform of that character to do advocacy work as well, uh, that was just really inspiring for me. And so I decided I was going to do a tutorial for her because I love her and you love her, obviously, or you wouldn't be watching this video. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to put together a little five minute face tutorial for you guys to represent Celeste a little bit because she doesn't really wear a ton of makeup. And so I just kind of wanted to represent her character by doing something a little bit more unnoticeable because I feel like that is a word that could be described that could describe a lot of her character because even though people see her people don't really notice a lot of things about her so if you guys want to see how to do my five minute face tutorial uh, and how to wear a little bit of a no makeup makeup look then just keep on watching <laughs> Okay hey guys, so the important thing to start out with for Celeste is her character is always written um, in the description in the book especially um, as being quite flawless without makeup. So you have to start with a good base. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to use my Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. And I'm just going to smooth that all over my face. And I did scrub this morning as well just to get rid of any dry skin. And now I'm just going to go ahead and use some of my Fenty Instant Filter Primer just to add a little bit more to that hydration level. So now with that on, I am just gonna go ahead and apply another primer. And for this one, um, I don't wanna use my Optical Illusion Primer because that one is very blatantly pore filling. So I am gonna go ahead and use some of my Cover Effects Blurring Primer. And I'm just gonna smooth that over my pores just to prevent the makeup from getting clogged. And make sure you're really smoothing this over all of the areas that you have pores because you wanna look as flawless as possible. Looking <laughs> stunning. Uh, they've got a giant Are Michael Jackson. being Jack facetious? No. So just let that sit for a second. And then for foundation today, we are gonna go ahead and and use our Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This isn't the foundation that I would usually recommend for this look. Um, I would say to use something like the Lancome uh, non-matte finish 
foundation so I'll link that one below it's just a little bit dewier uh, it's just that this one is a medium coverage foundation which is what I'm looking for and I don't own a ton of those and then I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Artiste oval brush just to blend it out you can see that this is definitely not a matte foundation it's just a nice dewy foundation but it's not quite to the extent that the Lancome one is and so for concealer today I'm gonna be going in with two different kinds so under my eyes I'm gonna be using the Maybelline instant age rewind and and this is just a dark circle canceling concealer honestly over my entire eye the reason that I'm using this one specifically and not my Estee Lauder or my Urban Decay is because Celeste is supposed to look a little bit more worn out like a little bit more tired um, and so I use mostly just medium coverage products for her and so this is a decent medium coverage concealer uh, it doesn't work for me in my day-to-day -day life because I have such bad dark circles from my insomnia uh, but that works for Celeste so I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that in and so that'll stay under my eyes and I am just gonna set it right away before I go in with my other concealer so for setting today we're gonna be using our uh, Kevin Aquan Neo setting powder and the reason that we're using this one is just to add a little bit more of that no makeup makeup look today because we don't want it to look too flawless and we don't want to take away from any of that skin texture that we have and then go in with your regular concealer so for this I'm gonna be using my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, which is a concealer that I used to love. I'm madly in love with him. Okay, and then just go ahead and lightly press some more of that Kevin Aquan powder over the rest of your face. I'm kind of going into detail about products today because I feel like doing just Celeste's makeup without explaining like my choice of products would take about five minutes. Okay, so you can see that gave us just that nice natural non-matte effect. Okay, so the next couple of steps in Celeste's makeup are not that difficult. Set those eyes. And so what I'm gonna be using today is I'm gonna be using my Quo Face and Eye Palette. And pretty much all that you're gonna wanna do is just take this cream setting shade and just sweep that over the lid and then just to give your crease a little bit of depth just go ahead and use the bronzing shade that we're going to be using for the rest of the face and just brush that into the crease and just kind of buff it out and then just do the same on the other side and then just take that same cream shade that we started with and just run it over the lid again. Okay, so we're just gonna use a little bit of eyeliner and a little bit of mascara right now. To keep with the natural look that we've already started doing, I am just gonna go ahead and use Roach by Urban Decay. Run it as close to my lash line as possible. And then I am gonna take Scandalize by Rimmel London. And uh, this is in shade Nude. And I'm just gonna use that in my lower waterline just to open my eyes up a little bit. Uh, and this is CGI Bear, and uh, of course everyone knows the books. <laughs> but the bear does have the most beautiful eyes. No, he does. <laughs> and then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw on a little bit of Benefit Roller Lash. So for brows today, I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, and this is in shade Ebony. Celeste doesn't really wear a ton of makeup, but you can look at any point in the show and her brows are always on point. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing my brows and for this, I'm gonna do a little line right on the top of my brow just to get the shape. Little line on the bottom. I leave about a centimeter of my brow open with that line here just so that I can ombre it out a little bit. And then I just use slightly horizontal lines just to start filling in that empty space. And then where I get to the point where I want to ombre it, I just pull vertically. And this is literally how I do my brows every day. And then just try to balance it out on the other side. Remember, brows should be sisters, not twins. So if you don't get it perfect on both sides, it is not a big deal. And then just go ahead and use your spoolie just to get rid of any harsh lines and just make the brows look a little bit more natural. And that is pretty much it for brows until after we set everything. And so the next step in this is just to do your bronzer and highlighting combo. There's a little bit of blush involved, but not all that much. So I will show you guys what I'm gonna do. <laughs> So I'm gonna go in with this lighter shade from the Quo Face and Eye Palette. I'm just really gonna lightly brush it just at the tops of my cheekbones and kind of in a C. And then I'm just gonna use a tiny, tiny bit just on my chin. 
Okay, and now we're gonna do just the tiniest, tiniest bit of blush. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my powder brush and I'm just gonna blend these two pinks on a brush, tap off the excess and just lightly pat it over my cheeks. And then for highlighter today, I'm going to be using my perfect subtle shade of highlighter. This is the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer, and this is in shade 002. You've seen me use this in the Zendaya tutorial. You've seen me use this in the Agent Carter tutorial. I love this stuff for a nice subtle highlight. I'm just gonna go ahead and just brush that over my cheeks, and I'm using a slightly bigger brush than I normally would for highlighter, just to make this look a little bit more natural just a touch on the brow bone. And then I'm just gonna take that same brush that I used before for my eyeshadow and just apply a slight highlight. So that is pretty much it. I'm just gonna go ahead and set all of this and then I'll come back and I will show you guys lips and finish off my brows. God! <laughs> I so didn't want to come back. <laughs> okay, and so for lips today, what I'm gonna be using is my Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm by Dior. And the reason that I'm using this one is because she seems to have a slightly more hydrated lip in every single thing that we see her in. Most of the time she has either a nude lip or a slightly pink balm or a red lip in the case of the finale. Episode. Just sweep this over the lip and this is nice because it just changes color. Okay, so just like that um, If you are doing this for a cosplay purpose, you can obviously line out your lips first into the Nicole Kidman smaller lip shape than what I have uh, But I am going out after this and so I'm not gonna do that. And so to finalize my brows today I am just gonna go ahead and use some of my benefit and this is ready set brow and it's just a clear brow gel And so just sweep that over the brows and this is just gonna help clear up any of that Powder product that found its way into our brows and so that's pretty much it for the makeup um, And I'm just gonna go ahead and run a straightening brush through my hair and then we can come back go, 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 go. Go. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is pretty much the finished look. Uh, so really all it is is just a five minute face. It really is not very complicated. Um, she does wear kind of one other look in the show, uh, which is her Audrey Hepburn look for the finale episode, but it is not really, even then, even when she's supposed to be all glammed up, she doesn't really wear all that much, um, but she looks beautiful. It is a super duper wearable look and it actually does look really, really pretty. So that's why I like to do it just on a day to day is because it makes me feel like, oh, well, you don't really need a ton of makeup to feel really pretty, which is nice, especially given my skin is trash and I need breathing room, guys. So it is really nice because it is so wearable and it really doesn't get like a whole bunch of makeup caked on your skin. So if you're traveling or if you have to get up early for work or something, then it is a really, really good look to try out. And I mean, Celeste in the book, it is so like central to her character that she doesn't really wear a lot of makeup. So I didn't really want to stray away from that and do something cre like something weirdly creative like the pixelated Lara Croft or anything like that. I just wanted to stay in the realm of her character and do something very simple, very straightforward, and very unnoticeable. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you can get notified when my next video goes up because we still have another inspirational woman tutorial, maybe two, we don't know. It's, I mean, it's gonna be one video, but there might be two people in it. I have a hard time sometimes because most of the characters that I love don't really wear a ton of makeup. So I wanted to end this off with a bang, but the most influential women on TV for me do not wear a ton of makeup, which I mean, okay. I kind of want that to change though. Cause I feel like there's this weird thing where people think that female characters who are like the strong independent female characters can't wear a ton of makeup and I disagree. I disagree a lot um, because I mean, makeup is about so much more than just looks and being pretty and it is a form of self-expression. So I feel like there would be at least one police officer even that would wear makeup, but maybe that's just me. So yep, there will be another inspirational women uh, tutorial coming your way. We will be segueing from that into the next two series that I have planned because I actually have plans and I am not usually the person who plans ahead for filming. So be excited for me guys.
Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love all of you so, so much, and I cannot wait to get another video uploaded for you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Did you ever want